Hi Seth, I know your name is Seth, Seth Olson and you were a student of Vera's in the Design and Careers class mm -hmm. and I just wanted to thank you for coming in and talking with us. Yeah, of course, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Um, could you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, I am an academy student. I'm studying menswear. I'm currently in my senior year here, um, which is a lot of fun. Um, I originally grew up in Colorado and then came out to San Francisco for school, um, but I'm I love the city and it's been great being here. Great, thank you. Now, I know that you created this um, a laptop bag that's called the Aurora. Yes. You know, how did you come up with that idea? <clears throat> well, actually, my friends Daniel and I were, we met in high school and we were good friends, and he's actually going to Stanford for um, business, um, but he's always kind of been an entrepreneur and kind of a product design kind of guy. So we were talking and kind of brainstorming about different ideas, and we just realized that um, I had this big chrome bag, and it's great to carry everything I need, but then when I wanted to go to just a coffee shop or maybe like a little cafe, I, could, I wanted just something to have my computer, and I didn't want to carry my big bag. So we kind of started talking and thought we should try and design a, a very simple, minimal case that was just for your laptop, very convenient and so we didn't really see much out on the market so we wanted to move forward with it. And it looked really sharp too. Yeah, it, it went through about four prototypes and a lot of fabric sourcing and a lot of just back and forth between Daniel and I. Just He'd come up with an idea and then I'd come up with an idea and just kind of back and forth between us to get to the final design but we were really happy with how it turned out. That's wonderful. And now I know that you got your funding through the Kickstarter process. What was that like? Um, it was a big learning experience. It was really incredible to get to uh, go through the whole process of creating, doing photo shoots and creating a video and just learning about how to reach people out there was a big experience because you have to really be able to convey your designs and your meaning and your new design um, very quickly because people want to see something they want to be inspired very quickly um, so Kickstarter was great it was very stressful at times and marketing was tough but overall it was a great learning experience do you think anybody can do it um, <clears throat> I think with the right tools you can totally anyone could do a Kickstarter campaign if you're willing to put in the time and the really it's about preparing before you start your campaign campaign if you're willing to put in the hours and um, really you have something you believe in it's just about making it happen so well, that's wonderful to know I'm gonna recommend that to my students yeah. um, how did the design and careers class help you if any in what way uh, it was very um, I, I was really inspired by it. I think the Designing Careers class is very much a class where you go in and you can get as much out of it as you want. It is a class that you're really investing in yourself because you're putting together your resume, your work, your business card. It's, you're basically preparing to sell yourself to a company. So it's the Designing Careers class really prepared me for interviews, for talking with people about internships um, and careers and future jobs. Like I use the stuff that I made in that class uh, all the time, so it's a huge help. Oh, that's wonderful to know. Um, just on your career side now, how many bags have you sold and what are your plans for the future? Um, well, we've sold, we did one production run and that was great. We were able to, we actually sold out of everything we made. Uh, we did about 80 computer cases. 35 iPad cases and about almost 200 bracelets. Um, so we completely sold out of all the computer cases. There's a couple more iPad cases that we're still, uh, we still have, but since my senior year started, I haven't been focusing on it as much. I decided to take a break from Aurora because I really just wanted to focus on being here and designing my menswear collection at the Academy. That's wonderful. Are you going to do another line perhaps? Uh, <clears throat> it, it depends, like I've had different, after the whole Kickstarter campaign, a few different companies have reached out to me saying they would want to sell Aurora products on their sites, but for now I just want to focus on 
uh, gaining more experience in the industry. Like I'd, maybe Aurora could be something I go back to later on, but for now I'd like to focus on school and then try and get a just a, a little bit more stable job uh, afterwards. So that's kind of what I'm putting my energy into now. Well, that sounds pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> um, what advice would you give students when they start to think about the, pro the collaborative project that we do at the end of class? Hmm. I would say the thing that really helped me a lot was you have to be very, you have to be passionate about it. You have to be invested in what you're doing. Like, find something that you care about and really try and push something forward with that. Um, another thing I would say is it needs to be new enough. Like, some of the trouble we had with Aurora stuff was that there were things that were innovative about it, but when people saw it, they didn't necessarily see that it had this new high-tech liner or that um, it was much lighter than the other stuff out there. So it has to be something new that people will see so they get excited about it, excited about it as well. So. Oh, well, thank you so much, Seth. That was wonderful for you to come in and talk with us, and I'm sure you will have really helped out a lot of our students. So thanks again for coming, and good luck with your future and a new line if you do it or your stable job when that comes. <laughs> yeah, okay? Well, thank you very much. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Bye.